the fact though, pterodactyl, when I'm micro and macro, my mind. Why would I All right, guys, Ian Anderson and Corey and Merle, such close to call. And we have the 2015 San Francisco Safari. And uh, Corey, we're at Golden Gate Park. And uh, say hey, buddy. Hey, hey, how are you guys? There he is. And uh, hey, Corey. Yeah? Let's watch some disc golf. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're back in part two. Uh, Bizzle, still four-stroke lead over Dustin Dallas, Drew, and James hanging around. And we're on 9B, another temple, Corey. Yeah, this one plays from about midway through the meadow. Uh, it's about, oh gosh, what was it, about 650 all the way down the meadow? Yeah, uh-huh, so, 600, so, like that, yeah. Yeah, so probably half of that. Um, and the pin's right between those two trees there at the end. Okay, and there's a little OB long, I want to say? Uh, it is... Or is it left? It's it's actually right, I'm going to be honest with you, oh, man. Okay. It's right on that right side um, of that tree. If it kind of extends down the meadow, uh-huh. so so you got to be a little bit aggressive on the on the left. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Finish a little bit left there. Should solve a putt though. And uh, yeah, James throwing the hyzer at it. Yeah. Now the OB doesn't go up on that hill. It's just down on that meadow. Oh, okay. Uh, kind of short and to the right. Gotcha. So that's good. That's safe. That's safe. Okay. And almost took my leg off. <laughs> James throws hard, so I'd, I'd be scared. Yeah. Oh no, it was nervous watching yeah. it come in. <laughs> Dossel almost got me at Worlds a couple years ago. Oh no, that's the closest I've been. I had to do a little dance, a little jig out of the way. No European Open action. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Dude, a couple people got hit at Worlds though. Some spectators. Really? Yeah. Ricky huh. hit some kid with a forehand. The kid just like <laughs> tucked his mouth in his shirt and took it like a champ. Oh. Yeah, he's bleeding and everything. That's devastating. Yeah. Anyway, back to the action. Back to the action. Proctor <laughs> misses his birdie putt. Uh, this is Dallas, I believe, from the right-hand side. Yeah, Proctor wanted that one. All three of these are really gettable, and, and for these arms, you know, you want them. Oh, absolutely. That was a great buff from Dallas, though. So oh, yeah, off the side. Circle's edge tester. He banged mm-hmm. it. And uh, Dustin and Bizzle also making some putts, and Drew with a park job. That'll play. I'm oh, sorry, that was a par from Drew? Uh, yeah, Drew threw it off the left and then hit a little basket, I believe. Oh, okay, my bad. Yeah. Uh, Taking this par. Uh, three birdies for Dustin Dallas and Bizzle. And we're on to the last of the temples. Yeah, real shorty. Little guy. Yeah, it's on this. Is it on the, uh, the bench? or the? It's on the table right in front of you. Yeah, right there. <laughs> but it. it's got this little overhang, little little a uh, little bit of bangs in front. Uh-huh. A nice little forehand from Dustin. That'll play. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bizzle, probably throw a little putter action right here. Yeah. I, if it's me, I throw a little little forehand up there, but, you know, if you have the putter, throw it. Mm-hmm. He's under the table, which <laughs> could actually be kind of interesting. Like. Yeah, tricky, huh? Yeah. There you go. Uh, Dallas, total park job. Yeah, throws it under. Yeah. And Drew? Kid's form is just so clean. Okay. It's just, yeah, powerful and clean. It's mm-hmm. incredible. And James, throw it a hyzer like James Proctor will do. Mm-hmm. I filmed this round at a Slippery Rocket Worlds. It was just hyzer bomb after hyzer bomb. There. Oh, yeah, I bet. We're yeah. real far. Yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> yep. Nice putt from Dustin, Robert, Dallas, Bizzle, Drew. All got some, some drop ins. <laughs> What's Bizzle? Bizzle gets to go spelunking down here. <laughs> just stick a leg in there. Yeah. Nice. Was, wasn't too far in there. Nah, that'll play. That's fine. Getting it out is another story. <laughs> so, yeah, we have our <laughs> random accordion guy up in the woods. Yeah, that was a lovely little soundtrack, huh? Yeah, yeah it was kind of funny while we were filming slash playing. You hear the dude up in the woods. Yeah, no qualms, too. Didn't even mind 30, 40 people walking by him. No. Like, nothing was there. Yeah. That's San Francisco for you. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Gotta love it. Oh, yeah. So we're back to the regular course, hole 10. Uh, mm-hmm. This is the straight position, Corey? Uh, yeah, should be. Oh, no, it's actually off to the right, and we're okay. playing from the regular tee. Those pictures are from the extended uh, temp tee that we okay. have. Okay, gotcha. Uh-huh. So the basket's pretty close to the edge of the hill, but so you kind of want to, you know, miss left if you're going to miss. Yeah, having said that, right where the basket is, you're going to have about, mm, oh gosh, from this line right here, 30 feet. Uh-huh. Uh, so that shot, the forehand kind of skipping it in over there is, is not a bad shot at all. Mm-hmm. A really nice uh, turnover from uh, Bizzle, yeah. and Dallas is following suit. Yeah, that's a, that's a great shot. I see that all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a couple putts right there. Uh, Drew busting on his forehand, which is also super solid. Was just going to say, you don't see it often, but that's, I mean, 
If we're playing to the straight position, that's, uh, that's <laughs> yeah. 300 feet on the line. Right yeah, there. exactly. Yeah. He's got a pretty long putt coming on. Let's see what he can do. And uh, James also throwing a little hyzer flip to Annie. And uh, tracking pretty nicely. Great shot. Hey, as long as you get around that, that uh, netting, you're good. Yeah, there's that T for uh, hole 10. And we put up a safety net. Uh, incredible decision. But, what? Uh, <laughs> Huge putt from Drew. Wow. From the bushes. Yeah. Super impressive. And uh, Dallas, James, Dustin, all got some nice putts for two. Yeah. And uh, that was Bizzle for a par. I missed his putt. <clears throat> his lead is down to three. And we're on to hole 11. Uh, it's a dog leg left. And it's on. Is it on the. Uh, the pyramid? The pyramid? It is on the pyramid, yes. Okay. Um, that is uh, nine times out of ten. If you come down to the course, it's, it's going to be on the pyramid. Mm hmm. Uh, there are a couple other placements, but in general, it really feels like this hole is designed for it to be on the pyramid. Yeah, for sure. And there's that mando you have to throw right of this tree right in front of the tee box. Absolutely. It's, I mean, it makes it a super basic hyzer shot, but it is, it's in your head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you do have to worry about those trees that Dallas just hit by uh, mm -hmm. going long on your drive. Yep. Either throw it up or throw it, throw it flat and skippy. Exactly. Uh, Drew a little bit long, going to be left with a pretty scary death putt. Yeah, that was a pump. Mm -hmm. And James throwing a hyzer as well. And best shot so far. Yeah, that'll play. That's the shot you want, really, sitting right there off to the side. Mm -hmm. Still kind of a tough putt. Oh, it is. Well, I mean, Proctor's like six foot a thousand, so yeah. it'll be fine. But yeah, true. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, for me, I'm a tiny guy. It's, you know, you're thinking about it. But uh, if you're behind it, honestly, you may be more level, but it's scarier with nothing behind you. Yeah, it did get Drew's head, though. He made a really nice pretty putt. That's a great putt. And uh, Bizzle made a good putt coming up the hill. Uh, Dustin made a good putt. James makes a good putt. And uh, this is going to be Dallas for the uh, lone par. Yeah, he hit those branches, but, you know, <laughs> he'll take a three. <laughs> uh, so pretty nice. Four nice birdies right there. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like Scott's lead is, what, three over Dustin? Yeah, over Dustin. And we're on to hole 12. And this traditionally places the dog leg left kind of up this little valley. And yeah, and you'll see that in the right? championship round. Yeah, you'll see it in the championship, uh, or the, the final round. But, yeah, we're playing straight up. Well, not straight up, but way up this hill. Wow. I, I haven't seen this pin before. Yeah, it's been used at uh, a few other events. It, actually, we had a, a recent bag tag challenge for our new uh, uh, bag tags for the year. Uh -huh. And they put it, oh gosh, 50 feet further back. Wow. Uh, from where it is up to where 13 plays and that was super fun too but this is for these arms i mean james proctor just pumped it up there but it, it, it's even still a good shot you got it's like it up it's there. like 400 feet and it's probably up like at least you know 80 100 feet oh yeah no i believe i believe it's the only par four they have for the day i believe they marked it a par four yeah i think you're right yeah uh, bizzle came up a little bit short right i'm still in awe of james's crush Oh no, he he went around the big pine tree up there. Yeah. That's like On a unreal. Yeah. yeah, it's unreal. Stupid far. Uh, Dallas came up a little bit short, but right on line. And when I drew finished left, pretty much pin high. Yeah, he hyzered out there. I mean, he oh. threw it hard, but you know, mm -hmm. hyzered out. Not the upshot he was looking for. No. Uh, Bizzle just landed for a par. Dallas could run this one, but then you're left with a comebacker if you miss. Which I was just gonna say, yeah. He not did. Ideal. Oh, James. You Bloody, want that one? Yeah. That was for Eagle, no? Yeah, it was. For wow. Sure. Uh -huh. uh, Dustin misses his Eagle bid. This is Drew for a birdie. Okay. Unfortunate branch placement right there. Oh, there's that comeback. That comebacker. Really yeah. Mm -hmm. And at least Dustin makes his. Uh, James makes his birdie. Bizzle's making his bird. Shoes fallen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a dangerous walking area over there. Yeah, yeah it's I, the pin is not up there much, so it's not like it's well beaten in or anything. Yeah. You know? Uh huh. But uh, some pars, and uh, I, I guess we marked this one with a par three on the score card. 
Oh, part three it is, gentlemen. Yeah, part three. Hey, I think there was a part four, but we're, we're calling it a part hey, three. Hey, to be fair, though, everyone there was arguing for a part three. You know, it's the, true. The, they're saying you shouldn't miss a putt and get a birdie. Yep. No, that's totally true. And I, I, you know, I think it should be a part three. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're on to hole 13. And this one's uh, dead straight a little bit left, Corey. Yeah, it's uh, it's just a pretty basic. What? I mean, you're dealing with a lot of trees, but you're throwing hyzers. That was incredible. Though. That was ridiculous. You're throwing through yeah. jail the whole way here. There's just, oh, yeah. There's barely a line yeah and the, was it you're james just, almost hit it too yeah you're just throwing it you're throwing it straight and and hoping it finishes left through all the business mm-hmm. uh bizzle's pub um, oh man the v-tree yeah v-tree got it and drew throwing a crazy severe hyzer oh also get you one of those early-ish trees and dallas Stayed clean for the most part. Yeah, didn't quite have the have the distance as the other guys. Yeah, but, or I guess it's just Dustin. But yeah, I think he caught a caught a little bit of a, some leaves or something. Slowed him oh, down there. gotcha. And Dallas, or sorry, no, Bizzle. Th- yeah, yeah, great upshot. Uh huh. Yeah, that'll play. Right there. And Drew second. Yeah, that little wood log isn't more than I don't know, fifteen feet out. So if you're sitting right there, you're in business. Cool. Uh, Dallas missed his birdie putt. James did not miss his good birdie putt. putt. Yeah, it's a good hole to get because mm-hmm. not, not everyone's gonna get it. You know, because oh, someone's yeah. gonna hit some trees. You're gonna get some oh. strokes on somebody. Absolutely, it's it's not a clean line. You know, at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, really, really nice drive from Dustin. I haven't seen much better ever, honestly. Yeah, yeah, no. And uh, he's getting a stroke on Bizzle. That lead is down to two for Scotty. Mm-hmm. And we are gonna catch on to hole fourteen. And we're going down, back downhill? Yeah, so we just kind of played up the hill. Now we're going to slowly fade back down. Uh, if you see, there's a Mando on the left. It's mm-hmm. really the uh, – and then it's OB down the path. Okay. So where this is – you can see the OB there, mm-hmm. or, or the, the peeler core, I should say. Uh, it's tight down there by the green for sure. Yeah, and it's sloped away from you too, which really doesn't help yeah. you stick it. Uh, James coming in pretty nicely. Yeah, he knows how to play. Well, mm-hmm. yeah, gonna be tight. Yeah, it looks like his his fade got knocked down a little early. Yeah. Uh, Bizzle taking a pretty aggressive line here, Core. Yeah, straight shot. That's oh, oh my goodness, flirty. very fortunate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, almost OB, but he got a park job out of it. Yeah, if you can get it to draw a little bit more to the uh oh, slipped on it. It did. Oh. Uh. Man. I <laughs> just saw Jack <laughs> trying to will it in. That's a good t- TD for you right there. Oh, oh yeah, neutral. Yep. yep. And here is Dallas. After I think he did he miss the Mando. How? Mm. I think he did. Yeah, that's devastating. Honestly. Yeah. yeah. So that was his third shot. This is Drew's third shot for par. Uh, this is Dallas's fourth. Yeah, that's what I get by hanging out with the second cam down by the pin. Yeah. <laughs> I get no action early. <laughs> and uh, James just laid up for a par. This is Dustin for a two. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. Sit. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah we can get a little bit of daylight action on this hole. Yeah, that green, it's... Or the, that brown, I should say. Yeah. Uh, it's it's <laughs> sloped, and it'll start running. Yep. Uh, incredible birdie from Bizzle. Yeah, that's a good shot. Oh, oh Dustin. Oh, he makes those 9 out of 10. I know, and he's making up ground, too, before this. Yeah, he was. You're right. But he's losing two strokes now. Mm, that's not good. Yeah. And then Drew taps in a four. And there it is. Bizzle with the lone bird getting two strokes on Dustin. That leads back up to four now. Yeah, two on that pin placement is... I mean, you're feeling good about yourself. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Is that Can Can right there? <laughs> yeah, that's May. Lucky day. <laughs> oh, she's incredible. She's yeah. always around. Yeah, she just walks around picking up your uh, your cans. Yep. Oh yeah. There's a the little trash bin in every hole. She's mm-hmm. she's always around. She's yep, great for yeah. sure. There's there's a her male counterpart too, right? Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Now I'm I'm not as as he's has some bad juju associated with it. Uh, okay, yeah, because Can Can has some good juju. Oh, no, she's a great. We, yeah. There's disc dyes dedicated to Lucky Day. Like. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. It's great. Love it. Uh, Proctor with a pretty nice pull. That's a great shot. Skip it towards the basket. This is another mm-hmm. t- pretty tough, uh, tough hole. 
Uh, it is. You're throwing down across the valley, uh, so you got some some room to play with. But it does go OB when they put the uh, when they put the pin placement on the left there. Uh-huh. That road is OB. That, so yep, that right that there. Road, that oh, road is OB. Yeah. Oh man, unfortunate mm-hmm. for Dustin. Now the sure. good part is you're sitting there. Yeah, I was gonna say you can save a three, right? Yeah, exactly. And uh, oh, Drew Thunderbird just piping it. Mm-hmm. Dang, pin or high, that, just off to the right. I was gonna say disc driver number X. If he's not sponsored by Innova anymore, <laughs> you can call it out. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely a Thunderbird. Yeah, no, he was throwing that thing great all weekend. Mm-hmm. And uh, Dallas continues to play super solid golf. He is all. He's always there. Yeah. It's crazy. Sneaky good, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Abyssal laid up for par. Drew has a birdie putt. Oh, oh well, Drew. Y- now, you want that, but just like the last green, this could roll. Oh, this is true. Yeah, it's very slanted. Uh, James looks to be getting the uh, only birdie on this hole. That was a good get. And Dustin. Oh, no, oh, buddy. No. no. don't do that. No way. <sighs> Cereal. Super cereal. Dang, man. Yeah, that's tough. That, I mean, I, I wish I could say it never happened to me, but. That, that, mm. was, that was some foreshadowing. So he just puts again from where he was. Yeah, take the stroke. Take the stroke and, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Drew with the fake out. Yeah. So, uh, doesn't it take a five right there then? Yeah, what is that? Three all the way down there. Yeah, and then stroke oh, five. No. Yeah. Four or five, gosh. Yeah, so he's, he's slipping. Bizzle's lead's growing, man. It's up to six now. Yeah, that's a two hole swing. If he was within, what, one? He was within no, two. Two? Yeah. yeah. And now he's down by six. Yeah. Ouch. And those are two. Uh, I'm not going to. I mean, 15, you're attacking. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. yeah, totally. That's tough to take it to. Mm-hmm. So we're on a hole 16 now, and we're going back up the hill, and the basket's kind of tucked in this, this grove of trees. Yeah, there's two kind of guardian trees right around it. Uh, and, yeah, like you said, you're playing playing right back up that hill. Uh, it really does look like it skips, but there's you're not going to get a lot of sliding action except on the little patch of roots that they have there. Yeah, it's pretty sandy. Yeah, it's pretty pretty beach sandy. Uh, Drew, going back to that Thunderbird, it looked like. Mm-hmm. Crushing it. And hit a oh, tree. Did he and... dunk that tree up there? Yeah, he hit that big tree. It kicked, <laughs> kicked backwards, actually. And I'd Dallas... almost say it's a favorable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah that might have gone quite a bit left. Like, oh, what? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Dallas almost skipping it in. And uh, Dustin, that might even be a Thunderbird as well. I'm not too familiar with this bag. But it's parked is what it is. Whatever, yeah, whatever it is, it worked out yeah. pretty well. Yeah. That's yeah. a great shot. Sure was. And Drew coming up the hill for his birdie after getting kicked back down, and that's not the putt he was looking for. No. He knew it out of his hand. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Dallas. Oh, oh, don't do that. This 15, course 16. Get, get moved to Santa Cruz? On, on? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Dude, <laughs> summoning our inner Santa Cruz. Seriously. Oh, poor guy. Almost makes a comeback here, but going to be taking a four. Gosh, that's yeah. tough. And uh, James capitalizes on that drive for a birdie. Uh, Drew manages to save his par. And is that birdie for Biz? Uh, that was. That was a that's solid. Yeah, yeah, nice that birdies. That was solid. Yeah. From uh, Bizzle, Dustin, and James. Uh, Dallas with the unfortunate bogey. Uh, Bizzle's lead still six. It's going to take us to hole 18. We're going downhill. Oop. Pump it. Or, or sorry, 17. Yeah. And uh, so many trees, Corey. Oh, no, trust me. You want to skip this one. I I totally understand. <laughs> I get it, dude. Yeah, man. I've taken just some ridiculous kicks on this hole and just gone uh, s- kind of like that. <laughs> dude, that's Dr. Seuss tree that you're looking at right in the middle. It's uh-huh. all curvy. Yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah. my God, dude. It, oh. It'll kill dreams. Oh, Bizzle. Wow. Yeah, buddy. Weaving. That was incredible. That's the shot, in my opinion. Pump it down there to the right and let it finish left. Yeah. Yeah, he finished a little right of the basket, but yeah. zero oh, complaining. No. Oh, double tap for Dustin. <laughs> now, there is there is sneaky OB uh, down and to the right. Oh. So if if you're playing it, like exactly what Drew just did, if you're playing that, right there, that path is OB. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. That's a crush. That was a ridiculous drive. Yeah. It plays down, but that's far. Yeah. And uh, Dallas faded a little bit early, got a tree kick. Should be able to get up and down, though. The left side is the trouble side, really. Mm-hmm. 
If you're on the right, Dustin has a pretty clear shot. But turn that forehand over a little too much. Mm-hmm. Going to be taking a four. Mostly. Oh, James, man. Caught another tree. Uh, this is Dallas's second shot. Yeah, hard hard hole to play, hard hole to film. So much in your way. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, this is Dustin's third. Looks like he's just playing smart Soft. golf. Yeah, yeah. Take, take, take your medicine. Take your four. We see all the uh, all these wood chips and, and all the all the eucalyptus leaves on the ground. Uh, it'll slip and slide all over the place. Oh, yeah, it really does, doesn't it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that was uh, Drew missing his two. That's Bizzle missing his two. That looked super weird coming Didn't out of the guy behind him's hand. That right? so bizarre. Dude. <laughs> what? Shouts to Lewis Bittany back there, but. Yeah. That was, yeah. That, that blew my mind when I was watching. Right <laughs> <laughs> it was an optical illusion to the max. It really was. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, Drew making his par, and uh, Dustin's making a bug. Bizzle's I think. Le- What's up, I, was say, I think Bizzle, or I think uh, Proctor had to shoot through the tree. There's a little bit of a window off to the side of the tree that I think he had to kind of toss through. That's too funny. Hey, made it work, though. <laughs> but, uh, that is all we got for part two, guys. Uh, mm-hmm. Yep. We will catch you in part three. Thanks for watching.